our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Strawweight Division. Introducing first, fighting! This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, only a professional record of 15 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Finally, out of Ostland, Poland, Joanna Yelchak! And now, the New Zealand opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 7 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Body out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Mackenzie Dunn! All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. This is back. a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. You ready? You ready? All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Young know, Jacek gets caught by the inside leg. They are trading huge punches here. Missed that shot. Nice leg kick. You know, Jacek gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice leg kick. Clean hook. Oh, and she lands another brutal leg kick there. She's already landed several in the round, and she is now really starting to inflict damage to that lead leg of her opponent. Nice inside leg kick, not even telegraph. Tries some serious power in that kick, but misses. Nasty counter to the body. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Damaging strike there. And there comes the separation now. Well, her opponent worked the body to great effect there, Joe, but she left it wide open. She moved forward somewhat carelessly, and she has become increasingly more susceptible now to that strike. Let's see how it plays out here moving forward. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. Oh, hard kick. Slightly deflected. Clean punch. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. You know, Jacek gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Oh! Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice punch by Gion Jaichek. And there comes the separation now. Went for the inside leg kick. Under a minute to go. Nice kick. Big power in that kick. Right on the button. Check that one. Oh! Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. 
very nice leg kick there by Young Jai Chen. Five minutes in the books. You're not following the game plan. You're letting her dictate the fight. We need to get back out there and push the pace. Remember what we were... Let's see some of the action here. Very exciting rap. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, so second round getting underway now. Not a bad first round. Both fighters had their moments. Looked like at times they were just getting warmed up a little bit, perhaps a little bit of a feeling out process over that first minute. What's your thoughts on what we saw there in that first round? Dion Jacek gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Those punches are very hard. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Well, she got clipped by that hook, Joe, and she is a sitting duck if she's gonna stay in her opponent's striking range. She's gotta get on the tip of her toes, circle away from the power shots, and move those feet. Wow! This could be it right here. Inside leg kick is there by Yeon Jaichek. Oh, massive kick lands, Joe. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Very good job of timing these punches. Some nice back and forth action here. Try to establish that jab. Oh! She blocked the punch. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Wow! This could be it right here. Just missed with that huge kick. Jaichek gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Fainting with the punch. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Joanna Yeon Jaichek. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid combination. And it is going to take strikes in bunches to get an opponent of this caliber out of there. Let's see where she goes from here. Oh, nice leg kick. She blocks that offense, Joe. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. There's a nice kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Well placed kick there by Yeon Jaichi. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. That bruise on her outer thigh is getting much worse. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. See the total strikes. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Yohani Yon Jacek. Well, she ate the straight hand there, and she's got to be careful now, Joe. I know she wants to be aggressive and set up her own offense, but she left the head wide open for damage there. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. 
Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Both fighters throwing heat now. And you do really want, what is it gonna take to break someone like Young Jacek? You can take her down. Wow! This could be it right here. Really swung. Oh, oh. big shot! Oh! Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Clean jab. Nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Well, she went for it there, but she missed, and sometimes when you miss that badly, it can really tax your gas tank. She's really gonna have to figure out a way to conserve some stamina if she's gonna have any success as this fight moves forward. She slips that left hand there. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Wow, Joe, all I can say is wow. She might have even exceeded her own expectations here tonight. You know the kicks have been a big part of her arsenal, but that was about as perfect a land as we have seen in this division. Full extension, full power behind it, and you knew if she found an opening there, her opponent was gonna be down for the count. A monumental knockout turned in by her here tonight. Here it is one more time. Bang. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Yolanda Yachechev. All right, so congratulations to Joanna Yeo Jacek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. What can this woman not do inside an octagon? She is a master of making in-fight adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses to her advantage.